start up, start it up over there. You know. What I'm saying? Yes, I do believe that China is the new America, and the people who ran this in the ground, like you said, are on their way to China right now. They probably set up office like 15 years ago. Make sure they get their foot in the door, and they're gonna start running China to the ground next. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then they're building them up, and their economy flourish, but they're not gonna last as long as the United States. So you think you think China's only got China's got that three year run? China's going to twenty twelve and then China's done. Yeah, yeah about two twelve, that sounds about right, and then this whole fucking thing gonna come apart. And hopefully what's after that is gonna be a lot better. But yeah, I think China's their their little fame hmm. is, is is gonna be short short lived. You know, it's almost like an acceleration. That's why everything's happening so fast. You know, right now with the US, you know, everything is happening fast. Like one day you hear this, one day you hear that. Next day, a hundred banks went on. The next day, this senator is, is kicked out. Next day, uh, Barack Obama's closest people are getting fired, you know. All this stuff is accelerating, you know. So when it gets to China, it's going to accelerate there, too. The economy going to boom and bust that much faster. And then after that, you know. Then they're going to come up with their new currency. Um, but, you know, that, remember, remember. We all going to come up with something else, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the people will think of something, like you're saying. Um, there's, there's one thing Australia said to me that, you know, I always tell people that, you know, we vote on the change that bind us. Um, she said we vote on our government. She also said most of the people in America who don't vote are probably the, hurt, the ones that hurt the most, which is true. But you have to understand here in America, if you get a felony, you can't vote. A felony. I don't vote. I don't vote because I already can see through all of it. You know what I'm saying? People hmm. vote. You know that's more power to you. But at the end of the day, if you really looked at what was going on, you would know that vote didn't matter. And there's people above the people you voted in. So there, there's 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 two votes you that you didn't vote for that the elite group. You know? Yeah. That that's what I'm saying. saying Obama represents the rich and the powerful. If you notice, more corporate people jumped on Barack's dick than anybody else's. I mean, he had motherfuckers. Everybody wanted a change in America, and they jumped on the Barack bandwagon, and they did get a change. They changed the color of the man in charge, and that's the only change that I see. That's about it. That's it. And, and I look at Barack Obama like a halfway. Now, this is going to sound funny, but I look at Barack Obama as a halfway. It's their compromise. In other words, okay, time has come and time has passed for us to knock this uh, black and white thing off the water. By putting a so-called black president in office, we erase all racism. So everybody got around the table and said, yeah, yeah. By putting a black president in there, we won't look so racist. They put him in there to, to start yeah. But they didn't put a black president in office. You see what I'm saying? They went halfway with it. In fact, they know they didn't have to. Yeah, because you think about it. If you put. As long as he looked different, you know? He yeah, as long as he appears to be black, then it's okay. And we know a lot. I know a lot of black people, and I know a lot of half black people. And I know a lot of half black people that don't act like black people. I know a lot of half blacks that act super black. When you look at Barack Obama, a lot of people, black people, are upset because he's not addressing black issues. He was not elected to address black issues. And black people, oh, Barack, he done lowered the price of gas, Barack, 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 oh. I'm like, oh my God, Barack's walked across oil, and now he's God, you know what I'm saying? Barack can walk across oil, shit. Barack Obama is, to me, a black manager of a trailer park. The white people don't like that the manager's black, but he's the manager. See what I'm saying? He's just a black manager of the trailer park. If Hillary would have won, her and Bill 
would have been the couple to run the trailer park. You know, it's just pitiful. Who are you barking at? But hey, man, it was good talking to Steve. I'm calling you, son. My dog's got a problem. He's racist. He doesn't like the mailman. Nah. He don't. I'm saying, man, I'm about to wrap this up. Shit. And hopefully we taught somebody something. Hopefully they don't look at two black people sitting down as black people who constantly talk about white people. White people are not the problem. White people, the, white, the only problem I have with white people is they allowed themselves to be enslaved. <laughs> okay? Now, I'm with all people. Yeah. It's like, shit, the ball is an echo. They can free everybody. There's enough of them. There's enough of them to stand up and fight and free everybody. But. It ain't about them. It's about all of us. Man. That's what I'm saying. We have to work as a team. And we can't work as a team if somebody wants to play quarterback. If somebody wants to do this. You're just supposed to do it. You ain't supposed to want your certain role in it. You're just supposed to do it. And we have done our part today by trying to release some stress. By trying to tell somebody something other than what they heard. By allowing people to hear two people speak in a manner in which you didn't think was possible. With respect for one another. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're trying to solve the big problem for everybody. Not just our problem. But one thing I want to say real quick before we go. In the 70s when they were screaming, Oh, y'all niggas ought to go back to Africa. And I'm going to say this for the last time because I've said it in like three videos. If every American a brown skin would have went back to Africa in the 70s or the 60s, it would be like the Gaza Strip right now. Africans wouldn't want us there because of our attitudes. The rest of the world wouldn't want us there because we're too smart. See what I'm saying? We, if we would have went back to Africa, we would be Israel right now. There would be certain shit in Africa that they would not let us get nowhere near. First of all, if the Americans from America that are black went back to Africa and united Africa, it would be the mightiest country on the planet. That's one thing that white America really did not want black people to do is go back to Africa. But they say it, they act like they mean it, but that's the last thing they want. is a country full of black people from America teaching black people the history of black people. It's the last thing people want. I wish during that time they wouldn't have been talking about that and they would have been talking about what we talked about today and that's getting rid of the elitist few. You know? Exactly. You take the power. Right. The Illuminati and the, the Masons and mm -hmm. the Bergs and Trilateral Commission. If we would be getting rid of them instead of all this nonsense about you need to go back to Africa, you know. Mm -hmm. Sent them, you know, somewhere, you know. And, like... Like, and we wouldn't be having these problems we have today. So it all goes back to dividing countries. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the, the the master, the master, the master's race has lost it all. I think I did that in a video because the master, whoever the master is, he's old, he's brittle, and he's lost his grip on reality. The master is, he's twisted. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whoever he is, I hope he dies soon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hope when the master die, everybody go in a panic and forget that we don't need a new master. <laughs> you know? I hope, I hope we figure out that we are the masters of ourselves individually on an individual basis. We are the masters instead of giving other people the power you know? and the control. The sooner, the sooner we all figure out the what, what real power we have inside of us, Mm -hmm. And remember, the master can't eat if we don't feed him. That's one thing about the master. The master needs us to be enslaved. Now, if we just take the chains off and walk off, he can't stop us. But we can't take the chains off because we don't know where they're connected. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right on, brother.